Good morning, class. This week in English, we have been working on sentence types, and we have learned about simple sentences, compound sentences, and complex sentences. We have identified um, sentence types by comparing simple and compound sentences. We then identified the sentence type by comparing simple and complex sentences. And today, you're going to identify the sentence type by comparing compound and complex sentences. So let's review what we learned about these two types of sentences before we practice. So a compound sentence contains two or more independent clauses. Now, I want you to remember, super important, an independent clause does not need help from anybody else. It doesn't need help from other words or more sentence parts. It can stand on its own as a complete sentence. It is a complete thought. These clauses are joined by a coordinating conjunction, okay? So remember, coordinating conjunction are the fanboys conjunction, okay? Some of them are for and nor, but, or, and yet, okay? So these coordinating conjunctions, which we use with a comma, are going to create a compound sentence by connecting two independent clauses, so two simple sentences together. For example, the boys went to the park, comma, but they did not go to the zoo. So look at this. The boys is your subject, went to the zoo is your predicate. They is your subject, did not go to the zoo is your predicate. Okay, so this is a coordinating conjunction used with a comma to, come to um, put these two independent clauses together. We like pizza and we like spaghetti. So you have your comma, you have your coordinating conjunction. And that will connect we like pizza which is an independent clause, with we like spaghetti, which is another independent clause. So now let's look at complex sentences. Complex sentences also will contain an independent clause, but they will contain an independent clause with a dependent clause. So to review, the independent clause can stand on its own as a complete thought. It is a complete sentence all by itself. A dependent clause cannot stand on its own by itself. It is not a complete thought, nor is it a complete sentence. A dependent clause needs help, okay? That help comes from the subordinating con conjunction. So. Dependent clause begins with a subordinating conjunction, okay? To review what those are, go all the way to the bottom here, and there's a whole list of these. So look for these subordinating conjunctions, after, before, because, although, when, since, if, whenever, unless, while, so, that, even though, wherever. Okay, these are your clue words that are gonna help you with identifying um, complex sentences, okay? Now with complex sentences, the subordinating conjunction will come at the beginning of the dependent clause. So here's the thing. Your sentence could start with a subordinating conjunction, and then there's a comma after the dependent clause, or the sentence could start with the independent clause and then be connected by the subordinating conjunction to the dependent clause. So let's, let's look at these two examples. Because the boys went to the park, comma, they did not go to the zoo. So it began with because, and it ended with the independent clause, they did not go to the zoo. 
Here, the boys did not go to the zoo because they went to the park. <clears throat> so with complex sentences, you're looking for the subordinate conjunction in front of the dependent clause. With compound sentences, you're looking for a comma and con uh, coordinating conjunction in the middle of the sentence that is connecting two smaller sentences, okay? This has been uploaded into your Schoology so you can print it off to help you, especially these clue words, okay? But right now we're gonna practice identifying the sentence type. Okay, as a reminder, a compound sentence has two full sentences, okay? Two full sentences joined by for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Okay, coordinating conjunctions. You should be able to see your fanboys. F-A-N-B-O-Y-S, fanboys. A complex sentence has one main thought, so that's one independent clause or one complete sentence with additional information added using words like because, though, before, after, although, while, and once. All right, so we have our clue words that we're looking for, and we are ready to begin. Now, when you do your assignment, think to yourself, what is my clue word? Okay, that's what I'm going to be highlighting is our clue word. Number one's done for us, but let's go in there and find that clue word. They finished practice early, comma, and they went for ice cream. These are two independent clauses connected with a comma and a coordinating conjunction. And I see is up here. So this is a compound sentence. Your mom cleaned your room while you were out. Okay. I don't see a comma and a fanboy. So let's look down here. While. While is our clue word. So while is our clue word that this is a complex sentence. They practice yoga and they like to meditate. Okay. They practice yoga. There's a comma and the conjunction and. Is and a subordinate conjunction or a coordinate conjunction? And is a coordinate conjunction. They practice yoga and they like to meditate is a compound sentence. After the end of the movie, Juliet wanted more popcorn. Do we see a fanboy? Fan no. Do we see one of these? After. So after is our clue word that this is a complex sentence. I would love to help, but I have work to do. Okay, I see a comma and a conjunction, but. But is one of my fanboys, so I know this is a compound sentence. Before you answer the door, look who it is through the window. So I don't see a comma and a conjunction. So it's not one of these. I do see before. So before you answer the door. So that is a my clue word that this is a complex sentence. I hope you can see why printing off those charts is so helpful with your assignment. Do you want ice, an ice cream sundae or do you prefer some cake? I see a comma and I see the word or. 
And or is a fanboy, so it is a compound sentence. Phil has studied hard because the test is tomorrow. I see the conjunction because. I know that's a subordinate conjunction, which tells me this is a complex sentence. Camden wants to exercise, comma, yet he is reading a book. So comma, yet. That is a fanboy, which tells me this is a compound sentence. We should leave for the movie since you are here. I see the coup word here that they didn't put on the list. Do you see what I see? If you printed off your list, it was on this list. So let's look. Here are your conjunctions. Do you see a word in the sentence on those lists? Sense. Sense is a clue word that this is a complex sentence because it is a subordinate conjunction. <clears throat> Excuse me. They hurried through supper so they could have dessert. I see a comma in a coordinating conjunction, a fanboy, so this is a compound sentence. And last, she can't write her story unless her pencil is sharp. Well, I don't see a word here. Let's pull our handy dandy list out again. What do you see? Unless. Unless is a subordinate conjunction, which tells me this is a complex sentence. So before you do your assignment, make sure if you don't have a printer, that's fine. Write down these tip words, write down those conjunctions and your clues to help you with your assignment. Just write them down on a piece of paper if you don't have a printer. If you have a printer, you can print these off. It'll be super, super helpful and ha have fun.